the sum of all the angles in a triangle. So here we have a triangle. So what is the sum of all the angles in this triangle? Let's say the side length is three. So I'm going to give you three seconds to think about the sum. Three, two, one. All right, so that should be three seconds. Now, now we're going to get to the actual math, the answer. So the answer is 180 degrees, as with all triangles. So what is the arrangement? Well, since you can rotate it diagonally and all the sides are congruent, then that means that all of the angles are the same. So we can put 60 degrees. We have to split it into thirds. 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. Another way to think about this is since that all the sides have the same magnitude and that they are adjacent to angles, that the ma angles should have the same magnitude as well. So now I'm going to have a second question for you. How many of these triangle guys can you fit in one hexagon? Well, in other words, how many equilateral triangles can you fit in one hexagon? I'm going to give you a, a second to uh, think about it. Okay, a second's passed. So let's draw our hexagon. So now um, we're going to find how many. So we're going to first slice it up into six because that will help us. And two and three. So that will give us three and uh, that will give us six segments of uh, equilateral triangles which is which means that there are six equilateral triangles in a hexagon now we have one final quotient uh, not the the last but not the least How, what is the angle measure uh, the total angle measure of a hexagon well let's find that so we uh uh, one may think, oh, since there's 180 in a triangle and there's six triangles, that's going to be 1,080 degrees. Well, that seems right. It seems uh, right, right? Wrong. Because uh, what happens here is that this may seem like an intuitive solution, but it is not. Because all, uh, all these angles in the middle don't have any vertices or anything to support them in the fissile angles. And since they're 360 degrees in a circle, that means that what we can do is we can subtract 360 from our 1080, giving us 720. Thank you. Bye.